Hello and welcome to Merchant. This is an awesome new game on the Android App Store. It's a few months old now. Um, I think it's coming out on PC soon as well, but um, I have only good things to say about this game. And before I even review this, I can tell you guys right away, the link is in the description. Just click on it, go get this game. It's absolutely free to play. It doesn't even have ads and what's even better is it doesn't have a single microtransaction. So let's get into this and see how it goes. Again, no microtransactions, so uh, that's all the options in the menus. Uh, here is our inventory. We'll get to this later. Basically what this game is is uh, you're sort of in charge of uh, a bunch of RPG characters. Uh, this is one of them just completed a quest. I only have one character right now and I got some rewards. Um, he's a mage. This is his setup so you can actually uh, equip him with different um, robes, hoods, shoes, gloves and weapons and some necklaces. I haven't got any of those yet but anyhow um, uh, let's collect our rewards. Now I can go and face any of these uh, monsters. These are this is kind of like the quest menu, so um, you don't take damage for uh, doing a gathering mission, which is like this. But uh, anything else that's in red or orange, uh, you, you will take damage because it's a fight. So I, I am yet to complete this uh, enemy. This is the party boss, uh, my ex now, however you pronounce that. So we're gonna have to heal up our hero right now. Um, oh crap! I do not have any potions. So, what I'm gonna have to do is gather some ingredients for the potions. Uh, you can do that by doing the gather quest. And uh, this is the craft menu. And um, as you can see, there are f uh, five different uh, crafting things. Uh, each, each profession sort of, it sort of levels up. And so you unlock more and more different um, things that you can craft. In this case, this is the blacksmith. So he does all the uh, melee weapons. Uh, the armor smith does all the sort of uh, armor in terms of uh, melee armor, things that will protect you from melee or probably range as well. The woodworker does uh, weapons for uh, mostly the magic weapons. I'm not sure if there's a ranged weapon system as well, but there are three characters by the way. One is the rogue, we're playing as the mage and there's a warrior as well. There are actually more characters than that, but some of them are locked away. So you have to go through the game and unlock those. Again, no microtransactions, so yay. Uh, the the cloth, the cloth worker. How would you say that? A cloth worker. Yeah, cloth worker. He makes the uh, the magic clothing, so high magic defense, and uh, it also uh, aids with the magic attack. I guess. Um, actually, it doesn't aid with the magic attack. At least not. Uh, it doesn't say. Oh yeah, this one, for example, it does aid with magic attack. It says M attack, about four. So yeah, this one gives uh, INT about one. So yeah, that's how that works. Um, oh yeah, there's the alchemist as well. This is um, what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to craft some potions after we get uh, the ingredients from this quest, which should be done by now. So everything works in a timer. You don't actually play any of the quests or anything. But as you can see, we just went there. We got the uh, ingredients and now we can craft one of these potions. So there we go. It takes a minute to go through. This could have easily been a microtransaction system, pay to proceed crap, but it's not. It's a freaking awesome game, so we'll go get it once again. I'd say go get it. Definitely can recommend this. So there are a whole lot of timers for everything pretty much, but um, here you can go in and you can sell excess equipment that you have. And um, yeah, I want to keep these for, for crafting later, so I'm not going to sell those right now. Uh, you have four slots, by the way, that you can sell in. Each one of these are, is a slot. Uh, there are inventory spaces that you can buy. Again, no microtransactions. These are all in-game currencies, so you can unlock all those uh, inventory spaces. In terms of the heroes as well, you can also hire another hero when you save up enough money. And I'm, I'm not sure up to how many you can have. I'm guessing like five different heroes. But yeah, it's going to have a whole lot of timer if you get to that point. Uh, yeah, this is the alchemist is almost done crafting. And when he's done, there we go. We're finished and we collect our items. Then we can go to the hero and we can heal him up with that item. That's this item. And now he has full HP. Now I can go and take on this big boss over here. Uh, let's see if we can survive it. But yeah. My ex now. Here we go. Uh, you can set up a party if you have uh, if you have more members. As you can see, there are six there. So yeah, that probably answers the questions as as to how many parties you can have. Um, so uh, mark select party members max two. So this level we can have a maximum of two party members. Um, so it's gonna take ten minutes to fight this uh, to complete this quest. Um, not all quests take this long. Uh, this is the longest I've encountered so far. They're always like a minute or two. Uh, but yeah, let's see what else we can craft. As you can see here, there are a lot of crafting recipes. Uh, you want a spider one, you need two spider spider legs and uh, ash lumber. So you get those by doing various quests. 
Uh, for example, there's a spider monster you have to kill to get the legs, so it kind of has that hint that you're not, you're never left vague, like, you sometimes you need a fang that obviously comes from a snake or a tusk that comes from a boar, so you all, you always know what you're doing in the game. Uh, I've been playing this a lot, by the way, lately, uh, it's just, just such a nice little game, uh, it works great. Um, uh, a really nice Pixar as well, really nice looking game. Uh, and again, I'm not. Sh these guys are not making money off of this game, so that's a bit surprising. Uh, it's a really nicely made game. I definitely su suggest you get it. Uh, there are no ads in the game, which is that's that's the surprising part. But yeah, we're gonna jump cut now to when uh, this quest is done in 10 minutes time, and uh, then we can see uh, how it's gone, and then we can explain a little bit more about the game. So I totally feel this quest. So um, what I'm gonna have to do though is. Uh, add another hero to my party that is I'm gonna have to do a lot of quests save up some money to buy another hero and then train him up so I can go up there and uh, do that quest uh, you can easily revive your dead characters as well just by doing that so you can he can go and start doing more quests as well so let's kill him eight minutes it'll take so yeah this is a freaking highly re recommended game go check it out it's really nice it's a really nice crafting system and everything it just works really well. Um, so yeah, I'm going to end this video now. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you want more. And until next time, later.